Welcome to my YouTube channel Thakar Ki Paatshala. Today we are going to learn about steady state error in control system engineering. Steady state error is very important and often confusing aspect of control system engineering. So today I will try to simplify it for you as much as I can. First of all, let's see what's the definition say about it. Steady state error can be defined as the difference between input and output of a system in the limit as time goes to infinity. But now we will tell that the gun, we all know these things because it is also written in our books. Tell us something which we can understand and in which we are really interested. So let's dive deeper into the topic. To understand the steady state error, consider the following simple closed loop diagram of control system in which RS is input and CS is output. This is the system or we can say plant block where all the process is being done on input in regard to produce the desired output. This is the controller block which controls the amount of input being fed to the plant. This is the sensor block which sends the output and fit that signal to the summing point or we can say a comparator block which then compare it with reference. If everything is okay then no problem but if the difference gets generated between both signals then it will send error signal to controller block in order to increase or decrease the amount of input going to the plant. The input is often the desired output. If we say in simple words, then the input is what we want as output. If the input is step signal, then we want that the output should settle at a certain value. If the input is ramp signal, then we can expect that the output will increase consistently. Now let's come back to the definition which we have stated earlier, which was the steady state error is difference between input and output as the time goes to infinity or we can say when the output becomes stable or steady at a certain value. If the output is not desirable, then we should change the input to the system in accordance to get the desired output. So in other words, we can say that the steady state error is the difference between desired input and the actual input because ultimately the input is what we are getting as output after proceeding by the system. Now let's take a look at why we should worry about the steady state error. As we are designing control system to control the various parameter of system, it can be anything like it may be the speed of car or maybe the altitude of plane. So it became our top priority that the control system should be stable. If we hit the accelerator pedal, then we must know that the car will accelerate how much. If you are pilot and pulling the throttle, then you must know that what change it can make in the height of plane. If the control system is unstable and does not produce the desired output, then it can make some serious trouble. So when it is crucial to control the parameter with possibly highest accuracy, then we should test the stability of system. There are lots of ways to find the stability and accuracy of the system. But finding the steady state error is one of the methods to find stability and accuracy of system. So that's it for now. If you have liked this video then press like button. If you think that your friends can get benefit from it, then share it with them. Also subscribe to this channel so you can get notification about our latest videos. And if you have any suggestion then comment it down below. If you are watching this video on computer, then you can find some titles on the screen. To go to that topic, just click on the title. If you are using mobile device, then you can find same in the description box.